What do you think made AWS the largest cloud provider in the world? AWS was an innovator in the space, got an early start, and I think it took a while for other uh, companies to realize the value and the power of the idea. Um, and uh, we're a fast-moving company, hard to catch, so I think that's really one of the main reasons. Um, but also, it's a very uh, company of, that focuses a lot on innovation and um, small teams doing great things with microservices and loose coupling and ability to move fast. And a lot of traditional companies, I think their engineering practices are more oriented towards like doing the big release every couple of years, and that just doesn't work in the cloud. So companies have not only had to kind of catch up with our early start, but really change how they engineer and build. And I think between those, those two factors, I think we're still in a very strong leadership position. But it's, it's a great business. There'll be a lot of other successful companies, and um, it's a great place for customers to be because you know, competition is strong, and it'll be strong for a long time. You probably remember the early stages of AWS's launch to the market. How did you convince companies to migrate to the cloud? Well, it's, you know, for some companies it was very natural. I think for startups we were a, a pretty easy decision early on. Um, actually, even there, there was some friction because a lot of the investors, the venture capitalists, were a little frustrated. They would be able to actually, it would take less money to get your startup to a, a cash flow positive situation because you're using AWS rather than buying infrastructure. So there was probably one year or so, or because venture caps are smart and they change rapidly, but there was a short time where they're like, wait a second, we can take less of these companies because they don't need as much money. But in a very short time, they realized it's a very bad use of capital to buy equipment. And so they quickly flipped and they began, took the view, it's like, why wouldn't you be using cloud? I mean, it'd be crazy not to. So that really drove the startup business and that's been a big success for us. And then of course, soon after that, we began to work with enterprise and government and the more traditional kinds of parts of the IT market. And uh, it's just the power of the idea just just catches on. Um, you know, the idea of pay for what you use and infrastructure as code, all these things. As soon as people use the platform and start to learn and get accustomed to it, it just, it kind of sells itself. So um, we're still early days. I mean, it's a multi-trillion dollar market for IT services and we're not making a large percentage of that yet. But I think uh, we're on a good path. So we're, it's exciting business to be in. Why do you think so many companies struggle at cloud migration? Well, there's often a lot of legacy technology. We all have that in our environments. Um, some of it, you know, I talked in the keynote this morning about just inventory. What do you have? Sometimes it's hard to even know what you have, and you can't migrate something that you don't know about. So, um, so I, cloud migration and cloud adoption is, is part of a larger framework of modernization. So people realize that they have IT systems that really have to be modernized. And so... Um, I think the, the challenges really come from the, you know, the fact that you've got to change the technology, there's people and process changes that are involved, there's a kind of the fear of the unknown, there's um, concern that people say, hey, I've been doing the same job in an IT department for 20 years, now what do I do? And so, you know, skills modernization and, and change, all these things can cause friction and, and delay. Um, but certain ideas are just so compelling and the benefits are so powerful that you know, the, those things will slow down but they won't stop you know, these kind of almost inevitable changes in terms of the economics and the power so of the, the platform. So um, I think you know, there's plenty of reasons that make, make it hard but um, people will overcome those uh, over time. And what will be the next big thing in the cloud? Next big thing in the cloud. Well, I think we're seeing a huge, uh, much faster growth of what we call serverless technology than I think we expected. Um, that's where you simply upload you know, functions to the cloud and let the cloud scale, secure, operate anything from you know a function that might run in, in the middle of the night once every two seconds and then in the middle of the day 30,000 times a second. You make no operational changes. Everything's taken care of for you by this our Lambda service. Um, that's The adoption rate has been fast and uh, not just, you know, again, modern startup-y type companies, but even enterprises, are, they're thinking, they seem to be leapfrogging from like traditional, you know, hardware or virtualization-based, leapfrogging past containers, which was kind of the next logical step in the evolution of, you know, code deployments, and just going straight to function as a service. And um, that's really exciting. Um, and I think that's going to really uh, have a big impact that is still, you know, we're on the verge of, of some big changes where, um, you can stitch together a very sophisticated application with scale and security and everything in just a matter of 
days or hours, you know, just a few pieces of glue code that clue together. The, the load balancer, we just launched a load balancer with a built-in authentication capability, so we've just offloaded thousands of lines of code that you used to have to write to do authenticated logins. Um, you know, our Aura database is, you know, self-maintaining, self-healing, point in time recovery, just tons and tons of these really high level features that used to cost a massive amount of money and were only available to the few. Um, so you can build powerful applications with just a, you know, a few hundred lines of code now and that's, that's a big change from the past. So I think uh, that, will, that will drive a lot of the, the change in the progress as we go forward. Okay, thank you so much. Thank Hi, you. You're